<clears throat> All right, so today's video is about marketing. I know it's not the most glamorous thing in the world, but I wanted to show you guys a YouTube clip that completely changed my perspective on what it means to market and promote your work as an artist. So it all begins about a year ago. Honestly, I can't remember exactly what I was doing. Maybe I was painting or something, but usually when I'm going about mindless work, I'll put on some background noise to pass the time. And on this particular day, I happened to stumble upon a Converse interview with one of my favorite artists, Tyler the Creator. Everybody make some noise, y'all let Tyler know, let him know. So I'm listening to this super helpful interview and I get to about the 40 minute mark when Tyler says something that I would have never expected from an artist like him. It's, it's something I'm noticing a lot with the generation of right under me is like, I don't know if they too cool or they don't want to look thirsty or they're not proud of their but like, they'll put a song out. They'll put it in their story and that's it. Hmm. That's it. You went through something you wrote words down, you recorded it, you edit it, you mix it. It's a whole thing. And you mean to tell me that you're gonna be passive with your own and just put it on your story once? Are you fucking crazy, bro? Okay, so I think to most people, this clip doesn't sound any alarms. I mean, marketing has become such a staple in our culture, but over the last three years, I would fully convinced myself that I didn't need marketing to be a successful artist. Here in my garage, just bought this. Uh, I mean, the idea of following trends, viral hacking, and learning about paid ads never really made any sense to me. It felt so inauthentic. And I'd always figured that if you truly believed in your work, then why not let the art speak for itself? There's no need to pollute the internet with any more silly TikToks, right? But then why did Tyler say all those things? It felt like everything he just said was the complete opposite of what he stood for. I watched the rest of the interview more conflicted than ever. What did Tyler mean by this? What was I missing? Fast forward about a year. It's the end of 2023 and Tyler's raspy voice still never fully left my mind. His words would just randomly pop up throughout the day as I worked on my videos and scrolled through social media. Around this time, I was also working furiously to complete my final film before the New Year's. And I had just about everything planned out finish editing, upload some Instagram stories, maybe even an Instagram post, and relax for the holidays. But as I completed task after task, it became clear that something wasn't right with this plan. See, this wasn't just any upload. This was going to be my first video in five months. And something just felt so wrong about putting so little effort into sharing a video that I poured everything into. And so as I stared at the timeline that I spent almost half a year working on, I started to take Tyler's words more seriously. Maybe it was time to fully unpack what he was saying. Maybe I should give marketing a try. And so as I prepared to go against every belief I had about marketing, I set one rule for myself. Be as authentic as possible. So if making TikToks didn't feel right to me, then I didn't have to do it. Maybe there were other forms of promoting my film that excited me more. What if I edited a trailer, made posters, or even shared the behind the scenes of my creative process? Maybe I could even write an article or make some cool graphics too. And then suddenly, as if a light bulb switched in my brain, everything started to make sense. Tyler wasn't telling me to sell my soul. 
He wasn't even telling me to make viral videos or follow trends. To him, marketing is as much for the artist as it is for the audience. Let's do this. It's about building a world around your art. It's the colors, the designs, the videos. It's about being proud of what you made. Because I put time and love and too much energy into this finished project just to put it on Instagram and forget about it. Like, no, promote your because you have to be a fan of your own stuff. That's all marketing is. It's a reminder of the work you put into your art, an extension of your passion. And when I look at it like that, marketing is pretty fucking cool.